This is a really cool cable tester that you can get from Klein Tools. Now they got a couple different versions. This is the Land Scout Junior 2. So that's what it comes in. And it's actually two pieces here. So let me pull it up. So that's the tool itself. It's battery powered and when it comes it'll have a little tab here. You pull it out and that activates it. And then this is the other side of the block. Now. I'll explain a little bit what that's for in a, a normal situ situation. But we're gonna use this to actually test our network cable that we made live. Now I made one end last night, and it may have been late, so if that that's the end, that's the one that's gonna be bad. I'm gonna turn this on real quick. Oh, looks like it turned on automatic. Now what it's saying is it's saying fail open. So all of these are open. And then, I'm gonna put this end in. There we go. Now, if the numbers match top to bottom, it's gonna say pass. Now, if the numbers are out of order, you may have a crossover cable situation or you may have a straight through wired cable. This is straight through here. So that's the situation. So that's how this cable tester tests. Now, it does work with their tracing tools. So if you wanna trace your cable down, there's this little tone generator number here. I don't have that on this thing. It does have a backlight, so if you're working in a dark area, you can turn that backlight. This is from Klein Tools. Now, if you have a little bit more money to spend, <laughs> the next one to me is incredibly impressive. I was really, really happy with this one. And I'm gonna pull up the next version, which is actually their pro version. Now, this one does have automatic power off. It's gonna do Cat5, Cat6, Cat6A. Now, all of these handle any type of really RJ45 cabling. The next one, and I'm super impressed with this, we'll actually plug it into this one and I'll, I'll show you how that works, but um, this one is their Pro version. This is the Scout Pro 3. There are uh, abilities to check on coaxial cable on this one. There's the ability to check on these little plugs, these devices are trace devices. It has a bunch more features if you're using network switching and you wanna test where items are. So it can do not only just very basic cable testing, but it can actually do hub connection testing, making sure you're plugged into a hub without a computer even. And then if you're trying to trace stuff down, you plug a bunch of these into the wall sockets and you can actually find out how it's uh, working. So this is the screen and it's showing that it's open right now. And I'm gonna turn the backlight on so you guys can see it. So it says open. Now I'm gonna plug in that cable that we just made. Now it's gonna say open, but there's a button here that I can hit, which is pretty cool. I hit that button and it's saying seven. Remember I said this was about a six and a half foot cable? It can measure the amount of cable that you actually have on this. So that was uh, the test capability that it has and you can use different pairs on it for that. But yeah, that was the distance measuring capability of it. There's a bunch of other different modes. There's tone generation. I'm gonna get back out to the one I want. Okay, um, so then I'm gonna test the cable itself. So there is the pass. So it's saying that it's a straight through wired cable. ID number is one. Now why does that ID number matter? I'm gonna show you a trick. So if you take these other devices that it includes, you see those numbered items? Let's say I have five different wall outs at outlets in my home and I have a panel down in my garage that has the outputs. You can take these little tiny devices and plug them into your wall socket if you're wired that way. So there's a wall socket, let's say, I'm just gonna use a coupler so I can go to the end. And then I'm gonna plug into the end of this cable. So that might be my wall outlet. And what's cool about this thing, just pulling it up here real quick. Okay, so ID5 is what it's telling me. Now, this is not going to test for continuity. It's not gonna make sure that there's not wire breaks or anything, but what it is showing you is that that is plugged into five. Now, I'm gonna, Pull it apart again and I'm gonna grab a different number just to show you that this is real I haven't moved anything now these couplers are not great they don't push down real well so I have to push it down but there's number three so now I see number three so this is a really cool feature if you've got a whole mess of wires coming down you're maybe doing an office building and you've got a bunch of different wall plates that somebody installed and they just come down to a termination point uh, home run and you don't have any labeling on those cables. I've been in that situation, and so that's really cool. The other cool thing is this does the same exact stuff for coaxial cable. So I just happen to have a chunk of coax cable here. Now my coax doesn't have an end, but if you look at the end of this tool here, it's gonna do phone, or uh, this side is actually, sorry, RJ45, which is ethernet. 
coax or business phone systems. But I'm going to take this little included adapter they give you. Because again, I have a, an actual male end. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to switch it over to the coax mode and I'm going to add this here. Now what's cool about this is if you want to, you can test continuity for this. So now it's showing that it's an open cable that's not connected to anything, right? You can take the other side of that little receiver that has the sides that we were testing with, and you can actually plug that in and you'll see if the cable's good. But what I want to go is into a different mode and that's the, the distance measuring mode. Oh, there it is, 12 feet. It just took a while to get that because this thing knows that this is, well, about 12 feet long. If I stretch it all the way out, it's roughly 12 feet. How can it figure this out? And it uses a radio frequency that it sends down the cable and the delay, the time delay for it to come back on the reflection. It's just really amazing technology that they have here, but really a cool tool in your tool bag. So if you don't think you're going to do a lot of coax or other type of uh, wiring systems, you may be okay with the regular Klein tools, but I wanted to show you this as an option. Another thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a Sedola hub to demo the next feature because it's really, really cool. And I'm going to put it in the uplink of the Sedola 8 plus 2. So this has got two extra ports. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into the hub flash mode. Now I was able to do this with one of my other ones. I want to see if I can get this to do that. There's hub flash mode. There we go. I really want you to see this because this tool is going to save you a ton of time if you're tracing wires down. See that little green light there? Hopefully it can, there it is. So that's the uplink. Now you notice it's flashing that it has a signal and then it doesn't. Has a signal and then it doesn't. What's doing that is your Klein Tools meter here is in hub mode and it's gonna flash the port on your network hub. So if you've ever been in a situation where all of your, your lines are terminated at your hub and you just need to know what output this one is. This little tool without grabbing a computer and trying to run traffic or do whatever, can generate a pulse that shows on your hub a blinking light, which is a brilliant use case for this thing. Another thing that I know is gonna save me a ton of time. So that is the pro tester here from Klein Tools. Let's say that we did damage our cable somehow, right? Now I'm gonna try to do this without getting myself into too much trouble. <laughs> So let's go on the side. Let's say you got an overly aggressive plumber. He was drilling through and he nicked your cable. And yeah, he's done a pretty bad job. Okay, so he's cut through the side wall of your cable right there. You can see that. Hopefully he didn't cut everything. But we're going to take this thing out of hub mode here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to not use this cable with a switch because that would be bad. But what I am going to do is I'm going to run it through this tester one more time. So you can see that right now it's saying that it's all open because I haven't plugged the end piece in. So now I'm going to plug what they call the remote usually in most of these. And we're going to see what it says over time here. So it's testing right now. It's saying open. I want to see if it can figure out that damage that I put in the cable here. There we go. So now it's saying open. We have a fail on those pairs. So those pairs were cut. Now, you may have a break that changes. So as you know, maybe this wire gets moved, the break is going to change. So you could see that you can have different ones, but that is how sensitive this thing is, is it can tell if a cable maybe got damaged in the middle of the run here, which is pretty slick. So you can do that. So another very cool feature of this is the ability to test for, you know, broken cables, things like that. Um, conveniently, the remote just packs right in the bottom turn it off just by holding the button down. That again is the pro tester from Klein Tools.